I am Nemus74, and we're playing a little Super Pokemon today. Beginner. We're going to start with Beginner, and just go in as fast as we can. See uh, if we can top the leaderboards on here. And have a good time doing it. This has always been one of my favorite games growing up as a kid. I was, uh, I was always playing this back when it first launched, when I was uh, about 6-7 years old. And I even played a little bit in college, uh, in the form of a drinking game I came up with called Super Drunkle Ball, which I will be actually playing on stream soon. It's a barrel of fun. You get it? It's a barrel of monkeys. Ah. Uh, the bonus floor is actually uh, five here and then five and ten later are actually shared between the three modes. It's actually really interesting. Here you can just bounce down like that and there's actually a, a level in expert you can do the same thing in. It's really easy. Why I do that, but I do. Ready? Here I could collect all the bananas. I've done several all bananas runs, but I'm going for points. It's actually it's actually less optimal to go for all the bananas. But anywhere you can save time is actually really nice. Ready? Alright, this is exam A. Now each each mode has its little exam level. This is exam A, it's the final level of a beginner. The funny thing is, exam B is not the final level of advance, it's actually the 17th or so. And it's a lot easier because the last little stretch you have to do, you actually don't have to do it, you can skip the entire thing. And exam C is all the way at the beginning, it's at like floor seven of expert and it is actually the hardest level of the game pretty much anyways so I don't know why they did it like that but they did all right time for the extra stages I didn't miss a life so I get to play extra and my frames always drop like a shit ton when I'm recording with OBS and playing this level it's fine if I'm just playing the level but I don't know. Guess this game wanted to throw me a few more curveballs. So you go in like that and go. For this one, advanced extra two is a lot harder than regular extra two. All you gotta do is wait it out. It just slows down a lot less in in uh, the advanced version. So. It, it, like, if you don't time it right, it'll just whack you to oblivion. Get on there. And finagle your way around, and that's beginner and beginner extra. Now we're gonna make our way through advance and hopefully advance extra if I can make it through the entire take without dying. But let's see how I did on score. I love how the little Chiron up top says advanced mode. I was just gonna do advanced mode, but I figure for a full video, let's tack on beginner. Why not do it? Showcase a little bit of the game, and then we'll showcase probably expert in a uh, Drunky Ball highlight or something like that, or I'll just play it on camera. We'll see. That's your name. Did I beat my last run? Go! No! I think I, nope, not E, F. So I actually came in second here. Ah, 
literally, I'm just that consistent. It's like a banana in a second. Let's go to advanced and enjoy some of that. My boy Gong Gong. And run through as fast as we can again. You can see a lot of the levels have a lot of similarities, except two is actually pretty different from every other floor too. So that's pretty interesting. I figured they go for a lot of parallelism, but just enough differentiation where you can, you know, can enjoy each mode on its own without saying, oh, this is just an easier this, this is just an easier that. But here, this level is verifiably an easier, I believe, Expert Floor 3, because in Expert Floor 3, those actually uh, rotate like a fan blade. Um, but you can actually skip that through Expert Floor 2, which has a neat little hard path you can take that actually isn't that hard. The advanced run should be with all the bonus floors because I'm going for points about 7-8 minutes and then advanced extra should be about 2 minutes as long as I don't spend too long dying. I'm still not 100% consistent at every level in, uh, in advanced extra but we'll see how it goes. The funny part about this though is we go straight from floor 5 which is a bonus floor. Floor 6, which has a skip in it right here, just like the last one. And it takes us to floor 10, which is our next bonus floor. It's pretty easy. It's pretty hilarious as well. Now let's see if I can get all the bananas here. It's really actually kind of tricky. I always find myself enabling it. wall to rest on for this part, but I also am about to do this really quickly. Oh my god, that's the fastest I've ever done that. Ready? It's a hard path on the right. I've done it. I have an unlisted video for it, but I, I can't do it without spending like eight tries on it, so I'm not going to try it in a run. Simple as that. Instead, go with what's safe. The expert pull into this. Literally, the uh, center of the bowl is open, so it's just kind of a jackass move. But literally, what you can do is just kind of go back around if you mess up the bomb there. So that's fine enough. There's also a skip here, but I'm not too consistent with it. I'm pretty good at the regular route, so might as well just do that. I always bonk the party ball there, and I'm always like, ooh, right in the ball. For this one, it always confused me as a kid, because I never got that controlling the environment actually controlled the little rock'em sock'em pistons you got here. I just kind of cheese my way through this one, nagle it in, and I'm good. That's as easy as it goes there. And for here, I always had a strategy as a little kid to get myself just going a little faster, and that's this. Just go like that. Well, you had less of these curves to go down. But that being said, I always screwed up the curves on this level when I was a kid because I'd go too low or just not compensate right. So I just wind up dying, calling off point no return. Never fun. Next you have the conveyors, which in the expert equivalent actually move side to side. It's pretty awful. And floor 17 is exam B, which as I said, you can skip the end of it and I'm about 70% sure I won't like overcompensate at the end and shove myself off the edge, but I just like to go kind of fast uh, 
and not deal with that ending part. So I will just move off this platform, and we're good. Like, I always feel like I go a little bit harder than usual there. But here it's like, it's so easy to just do. You just, second arrow, you fly off, and you skip the level. But you don't just skip this level, you see. You skip multiple levels. Not just multiple levels, but you get to level 25 just like this. It's like, jeez. Oh, God. That's pretty embarrassing considering I was just talking up how good and easy that strategy was. Whatever. Let's try this. Oh my god, that is easier than... Oh my god, I've never tried that before. This one you gotta go slow and steady. Not as much with the, uh, the next two levels, which literally you can go as fast as you want, and it's almost a tad easier to do. But this one I actually messed up a little bit, so let's see. Nope, got it. Of course, I had to mess up somewhere in the run, though. That's fine. I'll just do uh, the next few in practice. Fuck your frogger. I'm just gonna bump along. There's actually a lot harder of a way to do that, that last floor with the skip that I did, but... I guess I just figured out the easy cheesy speedrun strat. It's kind of funny. I'm not trying to do the staff roll. Let's see if I get the uh, the first place on this. Although I think it'll be second. I think it might even be third. But I will do all five of the regular extras here. Ready? Advanced extras. Go! First! Oh, wow. No, speedrun name entry. Can't do it. Blech. Can't even hit the goal. Who is this guy? Thanks for playing. Select main game. And then we're gonna go to practice mode. Go gone, gone. And let's just try all five of these. There's not much of a difference in extra one in advanced or beginner, but might as well show it off. The frame drops are very consistent, weirdly enough. This one is a doozy. Ready? You gotta wait right in for your moment, so. Uh, 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 uh. And that's the moment. Oh, I usually can't do that, but I managed to do it. It's, it speeds up quite a bit. Stage three, the gimmick is you literally can't do do this level straight away. You have to kind of cheese it a little bit. So let's go. And not like that. Let's try it again. There we go. Now we just go straight in and just run across while playing time. And if I hadn't done that, it would have taken a really long time to actually get to where we need to go and we wouldn't have finished in time. I've tried it many times and I don't think you can do it as intended. 
just going along every square here. Regardless, that's pretty much all there is to this level, otherwise you just kind of do suicides around this thing. The fitness Grand Pacer Test is a multi-stage endurance exercise. I don't know what the copy pasta is, but like, who liked the Pacer as a kid? I'm pretty sure it was no one. And that's it. That's extra three. Extra four, meanwhile, is just the AV again. We'll do it for posterity's sake. The real beast is advanced extra five which I just learned the secret to about three hours ago. It's kind of ridiculous. So it's like advanced 30 on crack, but there's like a, there's a difference. There's a way to, you know, figure out exactly where you need to go. These frame rate drops aren't gonna help. See, they're not gonna help, but. Oh, and neither will the camera being awful, but let's just do this. It's not going to take me 17 minutes like it did first figuring out how to do this. Where's the next one? There it is. No! I swear it won't take me 17 minutes, guys. I just want to showcase the level. No. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go like this. I'm bad. I'm real bad. I'm the trash man. I'm such trash. I'm sorry, guys. I want to go on the side spokes here, where you can tell it's going to slow down quite a bit. Just go on and move to the side. And that's advanced extra. Stay tuned for further content where I play all of this and Expert in uh, Super Twinkie Bowl, coming soon. I'm Nemfit74. Be sure to follow my Twitch. Located, lo located over there. You have a great night. Thanks for watching. Bye.